and welcome to another episode of Pop Vox Presents. I'm Phil Vecchio, and i um, super excited to have you guys here with us for a, another Saturday evening. Uh, unless you're with my special guest, R.B. Brown, in which case it's Sunday afternoon. <laughs> welcome, R.B. Brown, thank you so much for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Absolutely, yeah, it's 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 a treat. Now, we've had you live on Blue Christmas before, but this is your first ever solo episode of Pop Box Presents. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks very much for the opportunity. It's great. Of course, of course. Um, now, for a, a brief bit of history, we've actually done two releases with you over the last few years. Um, the first one being titled Six, and the second one was Touch. And... Um, I understand there may be some future collaboration possibilities uh, coming up here. Yeah, uh, so I've got an EP that will hopefully surface later this year, uh, which is coming out, a bit of a new project, different direction. Uh, and uh, hopefully as well there might be some rustling from the Cell Paradise guys as well. We'll see whether that happens this year or not, but that's that's on the cards. Very, very cool. So hopefully, hopefully there might be some tracks. Well, speaking of Sal Paradise, um, some of our listeners and uh, some of the groups that we've been uh, sharing this event in may be familiar with that name. Sal Paradise, which was formerly known as The Crux, if I'm not mistaken, um, was your That's early great. band that you were involved in. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, your involvement. What did you play in the band and uh, how did you come to be signed to an American record label? Uh, uh, yeah, so... It was at a time when I guess we were, uh, you know, finishing uni or had been at uni. Uh, I played drums in the band. Um, we started off with three bass players and we decided we couldn't all play bass. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I played drums and one of the other guys picked up the guitar. Uh, we were just right into a whole bunch of music. And um, one of the guys that we had a few lineup changes during the years, one of the guys that joined was particularly into uh, pavement and a bit of the American scene as well. So we got a bit involved with that, and I guess we made some connections through that. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but um, just made some connections with some some of those lovely folks in the US, uh, and that's how we uh, that's how we got connected. Yeah, that's so cool. So just shared 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 love of of music. Really, that was it. Now the name change was there a reason between the name change when you brought it stateside? Yeah, because there was a big hardcore band in America at the at the time called the Crux. And uh, we didn't want to be confused. Well, you know, just to not be confused with them. As it turns out, there were also bands called Cell Paradise. They couldn't win, but uh, <laughs> anyway, that was that was one of the reasons for the name. I guess also a little bit of a concept change on that third album that we released. Yeah, it was a little bit more, um, yeah, to do with uh, stuff. It suited suited the name, I think. Yeah, or well, the name suited that that release. Excellent. And then you did one other one other solo album before the ones we released. Is that right? I did. Yeah, that's right. Um, that was uh, an album of kind of uh, new approaches to some old hymns. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, uh, and didn't hadn't met you. So I hadn't made the connection <laughs> with Hotbox at that point. So sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's that's fantastic. I'm just honored that we've gotten to be a part of your musical journey at all, because uh, I absolutely love all the stuff. And I love the diversity, too, of, of the different musical stuff that you brought to the table so i'm excited to hear well, what's up next you, absolutely okay well <laughs> well this is again quite different so these are songs from the ep that's going to come out but what i've done live or what we've done live is quite different to what's going to be on the studio um, ep as well so very different direction so that's great hopefully it's fun i think i'm i'm sure it will be and before we get too much further, I, I neglected my introductory duties at the beginning here. Um, I always like to mention my wonderful wife, Janelle, who is here helping out and running everything Hi, from behind the scenes. Everybody. So for uh, those that listen to the podcast, that's my co-host over there. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I have to do a shout out to our kids, Luke and Audrey, listening in the other room because they also are good supporters of the show here. So. <laughs> And I would like to thank again all the people who are watching live with us. If you are watching live on Facebook and you'd like to give a question or throw a comment out there, please do so. Janelle will be monitoring the comments over there. And so if you've got any questions for RB Brown, you can do so there. 
There is a comment already oh. from Tony who enjoyed you at Blue Christmas. So, throwing it back. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Got a good memory. Well, it's it's still out there on YouTube. It's on our channel, so people can still go back and watch that again. If they, if you are watching now and you didn't see that Blue Christmas, that was the twenty third annual. I think it's the twenty twenty Blue Christmas is the one that you're on there. So people should definitely go right. and check that out. Okay, so I'm going to bring it back to you now. I have one more like question I've always wondered about in the uh, the Australian music scene because there's like sure. a. Sal Paradise was one of a few that I became aware of through these sort of independent Christian labels um, that came over here. And I'm wondering, like, did you guys all play together? The other ones I have in mind uh, were Dumpster and Battered Fish. Were those guys on your radar, radar at all? Uh, so we knew about them. Uh, those two bands in particular we never played with. Um, probably didn't quite overlap the right times, but uh, certainly knew about. I I knew about them, um, and we would occasionally go and uh, watch each other's shows and things like that. But uh, yeah, those two I don't didn't know particularly well, but certainly knew of them and, and uh, knew what, you know, knew heard about them on the scene at the time for sure. Okay, so you were playing around we shows. Of- <laughs> With we other have a lot bands, of distance in Australia, so yeah, <laughs> it's a continent, I, I suppose. <laughs> Although in in college, so, when I was listening to all this uh, initially, all my mixtapes had you guys all together, and I imagine you all playing these like amazing yeah. festivals together. So, at least in my mind, you guys. Yeah, I mean, there stuff. were there were some festivals that we probably would have all played at, at different times, but not at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's it. Puts yeah. that question to rest then, because. Uh, I don't know, for whatever reason. Sorry that, to disappoint. <laughs> no, 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 it's not disappointing at all. It's so cool to just think of, I love hearing about the scenes that happen in other places because, you know, I grew up in Southern California and we had, you know, all the artists that played around us, some of which, you know, went nationally and internationally, but there's just something about that local scene and knowing the bands that are around and seeing them at different yeah. places. And so you guys had that uh, there scene. Were, there were lots of. Oh, totally. It was it was it was very intense. So we had a lot of good friends who were in a lot of bands, and uh, yeah, there was a lot of music going on. We were all pretty keen on it. We were all involved in watching and listening to each other's music at that time. Yeah, it was it was a. We all pretty took it very seriously. <laughs> well, I'm glad of, you did. <laughs> you know, making the connection the effort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're here on the international scene, uh, so you know it all paid off in the end. Just to be here today, right? <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Now I've finally made it. That's it. That's it. You know you've hit the big time. You got your own show and uh, and Facebook live stream events later to be posted Absolutely. on YouTube. So thanks to you. Fantastic. <laughs> so um, a couple of questions about uh, the upcoming the videos that we're we're going to see in a little bit here. You you put some stuff together. Who else uh, are we going to see? Who who are you playing with? Who's in your your band for the videos? Uh, yeah, so uh, the band is a band of guys that I've worked with for many, many years on different projects. Uh, so we've got Andrew Massey on drums. He's a legendary drummer. Uh, we've got Trent Priest, you know, one, absolutely one of my favourite bass players to listen to, just a really great bass player. And making an appearance just for this um, event uh, is Matt on guitar. And uh, Matt's a really a great player, again, from this kind of scene, a little bit um, slightly different uh, genre to to what I'm usually involved with, but he was able to do this gig for me. It was great. It was great to have him on. So. Excellent. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, well, I won't spoil anything because we're going to go into it in a bit, but there's some really good stuff here. Our, our viewers are in they're, for a treat. They're really good players, those, those three. They're all fantastic players. So. <laughs> Yes, they well, they carry me nicely. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I concur. I, I think they they did a great job, but uh, we'll we'll let our our viewers decide for themselves in just a moment here. Janelle, any, anything in the chat here? I see a hi. People saying hi. Um, they're excited to be here. A yay. Some highs and yays. All right, it's good. <laughs> Excellent. They're a quiet group, but they're here. <laughs> okay, it's good. Well, I think that brings us. Uh, to the songs i think it's about time to to get to some music here is there anything you want uh, our viewers to know before we do it or do the songs speak for themselves song titles anything like that you want to let us know uh so there's three songs we're going to do um the martians 
uh, and a song called Sorry. Everybody writes a song called Sorry at some stage in their career. <laughs> and uh, the last song is a song called Burden, who, which is about a, a close friend uh, no longer with us. So, yeah, that's about all I'll give you. <laughs> okay, okay. That's excellent. Well, um, I think then we're going to go into some songs. So uh, everyone in the live stream, sit back, relax, and enjoy some fantastic music from R.B. Brown. Out of time I've been poking around for hours Trying to make these alien worlds align But the cosmos keeps its mysteries And the secrets of its histories Stay hidden from this troglodyte mind And the stars Are falling down like houses of cards Spinning on its axis My whole galaxy collapses And breaks apart And when I try to talk to you It seems my signal can't get through At all The story that unfolds is just how alone we talk to you it seems my signal can't get through at all and as the universe implodes the story that unfolds is just how Thank you. 
way Will you listen to the words I say Will you hear the reasons that I give Will you open up to me again Stop I realize it's all too late You undo the damage that I've done It's hard for me to live this way
That was absolutely excellent. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Phil. Yeah. We got uh, we got a few people who dropped some comments there during the, the set there. What yeah, do we got, Janelle? Um, so uh, John had a couple comments. He said, hi, Rob. Rock on. As well as while... He was listening to the music. Very chill, guys. Smooth. Smooth. So, um, and Janelle, who's actually our kids, said it was beautiful music. Beautiful music, yes. So, and a couple other highs from various people. Oh, wait, new comment. And an awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'd say that's a pretty good uh, review there. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you're ready for bed on Saturday night now. That got you in the mood. You just fall asleep. Well, that's great, but it's like, meanwhile, it's very smooth. But he's also got some shredding guitar solos in there, so it's a good like, good, good counterbalance there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Matt Roberts on guitar. Yeah, that was great. I should say um, special thanks if I can to Greg Dixon at Affect Studio because he's been my longtime collaborator and really helps me with uh, put together all this sort of stuff. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you, Greg. So if I could ha ask one question that's not music related. So listeners to uh, our podcast, friends and family might know that I um, we have a lot of fruit trees at our house and I love uh, fruit. Is there any chance? I know that you live in a little bit more of a rural area. Do you, do you guys grow any fruit or any uh, vegetables, anything like that where you're at? Uh, my wife is the gardener. She grows uh, she grows vegetables uh, mostly. Um, we don't have reliable enough rainfall for a lot of fruit 
Okay. Uh, but yeah, we, we grow some vegetables when the when the rain comes. That's that's great. And she, uh, she's right into that. So uh, we'll have to let her know I'm a fan. I help her, I, I help her by digging holes. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's important. That's a, I'm that's the, a key part. I'm the manual labor. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I just always have to ask stuff like that, especially when we've got folks from uh, from elsewhere, because I'm a fan of agricultural pursuits as well as music. So, <laughs> yeah. well, a little bit of a dry, drier area than some. So. Okay. Okay. There was a question that came in um, right now, and it says, "And was that modulation?" The in what the last, was that? And what was that modulation in the last track? Wild. What was that modulation right. in the last track? Uh, I have no idea, but uh, yeah, there's plenty of modulations going. Yeah, that's modulations. <laughs> it was a good one, though. It was a good modulation. There's modulation. Yeah. <laughs> good question. Good question. Excellent. Well, we're uh, we're just about at the end of our time here. Before we go, um, is there anywhere, and I, I'll help you with this a bit, but is there anywhere people can find you on the internet that you want to share, how people can get in touch with you or hear more of your music? Well, of course, Pop Fox Music is the way to go. It's the place to find it all, I think. Yeah, excellent. That's, that's the one to look at. Yeah, we've got uh, off on our popvoxmusic.com. There's of course things on uh, our Facebook page, and uh, you also have an RB Brown Facebook page, which uh, you know is another good source for finding links to this type of thing. So, excellent. And Janelle will be throwing links to those things in. Uh, in the chat there so if you guys are watching live especially that link to the rb brown page uh that'll help there get people in the right direction excellent well any things well, you'd like to add special before thanks yeah absolutely special thanks to you uh phil for just being keen about music you and janelle both being keen about music and being motivated to do something about it which is just absolutely sensational oh thank you really appreciate that so much Thank you. It's been such a treat to connect with you over the last couple of years and, and collaborate on these things. And um, thank you. Thank you again. Cause I love it. I love, uh, I love doing it. And I absolutely enjoyed your music and I can't wait to hear the upcoming stuff. Great. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <I'll send you laughs> some. Well, a couple of uh, just announcements for the end of our show. Then um, we do have another episode coming up next weekend. So we want to encourage you guys to join us. Jeff L bell of ping will be here. On, uh, on March 12th, uh, California time anyway. Um, other ones coming up, Jesse Norell, Candace Coker, and The Spivvies will be joining us uh, throughout April and May of this uh, coming year. So please join us for those. Also, uh, from Popbox Music News, we do have a new record that's going to be coming out uh, in April. So I just want to give you guys a heads up. In a Lonely Place, we'll be doing a sort of a reissue um, of the their last album that they put out, but on vinyl this time. So keep an eye out for news about that. And uh, I think that's just about it for the news. Thank you again to Janelle. And thank you so much to RB Brown for being here with us for the show. We really appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So uh, thanks again for joining us live everyone in on Facebook. And we'll see you guys next time on another episode of pop box presents.